Hey guys, welcome back to Neo 2. My name's Onos and today we're going to look at how to beat Yatsu no Kami. This video will break down the different attacks the boss does. It's about the fight mechanics, not about the build or the weapons that you have to use to beat him. So, first, and this is probably the most important tip I'll give you, it's before the fight starts. If you haven't done this, then you're going to make your life really hard. There's a snake statue over this bridge that you need to break. When you do break it, what it does, it drains the poison from the rivers, and that actually goes into the boss room. So if you haven't done that, what you'll be doing is wading through poison every time you're trying to avoid his attacks. It makes the fight a nightmare. I actually missed this the first time I was playing it through. So the statue is right here, or was right here, I've broken it by this point, but you get the idea. Just make a note of where this is so that you can break it before you go into the boss fight. I'll give the camera a quick spin for you to look around. Okay, so when the fight first starts, he'll charge straight towards you. You want to make a left or a right, get out of his way, and you've got a very quick window to get some damage in. What he may do is the plunge you've just seen right there, where the snakes pop out, that is another opportunity for damage, but it's a bit risky. You're better off just backing off at that stage. His dagger spray is tricky. If you're at a certain distance, they kind of home in on you. Uh, you can get out of them by rolling. If you're a little bit closer, they don't quite home in. They don't track you, so you can roll out more easily. And if you're further away, they disappear and miss you completely. This one's easier to handle, but more dangerous if you get it wrong. Uh, he, he fires them kind of in a straight line. You can just move out of the way. If you do get hit, it'll hit hard though. This is a really good opportunity to get some damage in. So what he does, he, th he plunges his snakes into the ground. And if you swing wide and come around at his side, it normally gives the snakes enough time to pop out so they miss you. You need to sprint. But then if you take some swings at him, what you'll do is you'll hit one or both of his arms and his head at the same time. Okay, so if he does the animation that looks like he's giving you a mouthful of abuse, then it's normally a signal that he's gonna do this little tail whip thing. You've got a few opportunities here. If you step around to the left, you can get round it because it won't hit you, or you can actually stay really close to him and you, you end up in the middle of the circle of his tail, at which point you can get some damage. Alternatively, if it's too risky, just back away. So the venom spit, not really much to say here, just avoid it basically don't get poisoned he does a little animation just before he spits so look out for that and move your ass out of the way so this one's a balancing act you really don't want to get caught out with this attack as it'll wipe out at least half of your health but if you can stay just close enough it's a really good window of opportunity to get some good damage in on the boss just be aware that he's likely to take a swipe at you very shortly afterwards so you need to be ready to block blocking his attack here actually exhausted me so i used my burst counter to very quickly get out of it also got lucky here that he missed me with his dagger throw probably because i was too close for it to hit So if he charges straight towards you, he's going to do one of three things. One, he's going to swipe at you with his tail. Two, he's going to give you a mouthful of abuse and then do the tail coil. Or three, he's going to do the charge attack, the one that you really don't want to get hit by. Just be aware that when he charges straight towards you, they seem to be his go-to attacks. The best thing I've found to do is to keep your distance back away and just make sure you have a chance to see what he does next rather than be caught out. So my advice here is not to bother with the burst counter. It's really tricky to pull off and he seems to push through it sometimes. The best thing you can do is a diagonal roll toward him, either left or right, to get out of the radius of his beak. 
and then you can follow him in his attack. He'll turn around, probably do it again, and then you'll have a damage window while he's kind of recovering. So he'll most likely take you into the dark realm when you've put enough damage on him. Now be aware that if you've managed to do enough damage to his arms, you will cut them off. If you haven't done that during the, that part of the fight, then what will happen is when he goes into the dark realm, he drops both arms and they become individual snakes. And that makes this part of the fight really tricky. You've got two choices. If you dance around him and target the individual snakes and kill them, that will speed up getting him back out of the dark realm, but it won't make it immediate. Alternatively, what I found is that in certain times of the fight, it was best to just literally dance around him and wait the timer out. If it's too hectic and there's too much damage going on, just back away and keep around and circle around the room and wait for it to end. His remaining attacks during the Dark Realm phase are actually pretty much the same other than the individual snakes. So once you've got rid of them, you can just play, play the game as you normally would and just wait for him to come back out of the Dark Realm and wait for your damage opportunities. I've left the full fight footage at the end of the video if you want to see that. Uh, you'll see that my fight was literally in a hair's breadth of me dying. It was very, very close. I was cutting it so fine, but managed to win in the end by following these tips. I hope you found it useful, guys. If you have, then please leave me a like, leave me a comment, maybe even subscribe if you want to see more. And I shall see you again for the next video. Thanks for joining me. Cheers now. See you. Bye-bye.